Funny, remember how I said I was scared of the ocean? I still find that pretty water is the number one thing that tells me that a game that has water in it, you know, um, is going to be, like, at least graphically impressive. Because reflections are very hard to render. Uh, but I'm also probably just a sucker for oversaturated colors. A lot of stuff going on right now. I am having difficulty. like a wrecking ball. Wait. Come on, the, the wrecking ball should block the bullets. That's like... Right? Ugh. What is this, Mad Max? On. On. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, I'm out of time. Oh. Haha. <laughs> uh, totally didn't like. Didn't worry at all. You know. Papa Carlo. All right. Oh my god, it's a battle bot. They did it before Near Automata. Some people are going to be really mad I said that. But it's true. This is the first Near Automata boss, and it's a. Uh, this game is way, way older than Near Automata. It actually came out around the same time the original Near did, didn't it? PlayStation 3 era? Yeah? Oh heck. Losing time real quick. And can we can we just check the irony right here? Uh, I'm a robot fighting a bigger robot. Stop robot against robot violence. That explosion is Gun first, if I die, like oh, it takes much more damage when it's open. Come on, just die. Thank you. Oh, he lost his head. Take a Tylenol. So, so anxious all the time whenever I play these kinds of games. It just requires so much focus. 
yeah. Not, not really surprised there. I got the Garai on the little moon. The sons and daughters of this lazy, simple nation support their slovenly way of life with their constitutional right to hold and trade military-grade robotics. Why I bought a Garai is simple. It's top of the line and the pride of the empire. I found pleasure in the irony. Perhaps it's of greater interest why I tested it in the Cardinal Canyon. 34 circles before the factory that builds this model was even constructed. Amusing, though that may be, that's not why I came. Memories guided me. Memories of my son. He was just a child when we came here to hunt. It was a perfect place for a boy adventurer, thoroughly exotic. If it rained, it rained steaming acrid heat but our hunt was looked over by brilliant sunlight. A psychiatrist would easily arrive at a diagnosis. I tested the freshly purchased garage at that very time, in this very place, because I wished to punish the empire the very moment it stuck its toe into my paradise. The psychiatrist would be right. If only I had spent more time with my son. Maybe, if I still could, my heart would find peace. The Cardinal Canyon is a sacred place to me. Wow. Here it is. He's got baggage. That's... Put it. This is amazing. Smother. They suck up cloud matter and extract the splendium from the atmosphere. That's what he looked like? Can we see one closer up? Yes, but be careful, son. It can be quick. They probably have some kind of defense mechanism. Why is his son a bear and he's a buffalo? Oh, this thing is bad ass. I'll be waiting for you on the ground with my new friends, the angry insects. Why does he just let his son, like, hang out in this really dangerous, secured area? Oh. I was not handling all that smoke. I'm a fair piece ahead of you. Careful with those insects. Their poison is just as dangerous as your own weapons. Wait, their poison so strong it can go through the ship? That is pretty strong. Is that how poison works? I don't know. Never studied alien bugs. The fact that it can pierce like the machinery is really scary. Bugs are horrifying. That's that's all I have to say. And because of the terrain, I can't get a clear shot of some of these guys, so that's really annoying. through the narrow wormhole. There's the trail of the label. You see? Yeah, I see it. How do I know this? Not like that. Oh boy. 
Uh, oh yeah, okay. Little... Uh... Not a lot of room to navigate without putting up a mine thing there, is there? Was that? I've got to make an emergency <laughs> landing in the next clearing. My valve. I take back everything I said about the voice acting in this game. It's too big for one of us to take down alone, and it doesn't seem happy to have been disturbed. It's a robot bug. But his, his ah was just like the most phoned in I've ever heard. Why do you need to, though? Because the video game. Uh, pretty sure I'm supposed to hit that thing, but only when it's attached. I mean, I gotta slow down time. I gotta slow down. I'll smash you good. How are you supposed to hit that thing without slowing down? That's what I want. Ah, got it, Dad. I got him. I killed the bell. Yay, Dad! I did the violence. Aren't you so proud of me? Congratulations, my he boy. Yes. I like this old man voice better. It was not so half baked. The stage counter in the bottom left is a little confusing. Charge six out. I've reached the inner ring. So I think a really nice little effect that they did on the... That's my bad on the um, ships is that um, their models, you know, the, the propeller of their the plane is actually spinning. It's probably look, made to look very blurry, but it, it does spin a little bit to show like the, the detail of like spinning. I've never been much, uh, much fond of instant death in a video game. Um, obviously some games where you just have lives and you're supposed to dodge, that's it. But like, you know in horror games when you can get instant killed by something, that's terrifying. So I feel the same way about, uh, side-scrolling platformer type sections of the game. Like in, uh, I talked about this in my Mega Man playthrough, but, um, in Mega Man X5, when you fight against Metal Shark Player, there's the Trash Compactor, and that level sucks, dude. Absolutely awful. And the fact that they call it iBot, like AI Bot, feels a little meh to me, but you know, I'm not complaining so much as I'm just noticing that it's... Use the cool sword thing, that only 
does one swipe. It's so powerful, it can only do one swipe. Problem is, it starts all the way in the back, so it's actually a very difficult protective screen clear because you have to time it so that you can uh, still actually hit the things in front of you before they hit you. Get out of there immediately! Charge 6 went off early. The North Wing is destroyed! There's nothing to be done about it, Dryad. It's no good. Seems I'm stuck. Wow, she accepted that fate really there easily. There must be some sort of outlet on the ceiling somewhere! It's no use. I checked the book. Today's my day. This was it. I'm going to detonate the charges. No! She wasn't really looking for a way out at all, and her voice indicated that, so... Hard for me to feel like that wasn't kind of dumb. A gem among the stones. This is how she thought of herself, and how she lived her life. We envied her for it, and we hated her for it. But she fought for our cause, so we put up with her constant personal insults, her relentless pride, and her pretension. The Rock. The last Anki aristocrat died that day at the Cardinal Canyon, her body encased in molten metal. But at that moment, we finally recognized the worth she always claimed to possess. Was she a hero? The old world died along with her. That was the world that still had heroes to give. We're a defeated band of war survivors. We would be afforded no heroes alive or dead. The winners write the history books, and that is not our privilege. We will eternally be sinners and criminals. This is not what Durak deserved. She hoped to leave a loftier legacy. At the very least, she left an indelible mark on me. It was she who made me realize that we can gain no satisfaction from being the hunters, and certainly not from being the hunted. If we cannot become heroes, we must become demons. Demons of a timeless world. Nightmares of the Lael Empire. Yeah. Uh, ghosts sounds more appropriate here, but okay. I get I get your point. I raise you one one notice. Thanks for the follow, Woodland Creatures, by the way. I was, uh, I can't see the, the chat right now, so unfortunately that was, I just had to check just now. Um, yeah. 